comrades, welcome back to Real Politics with the USA. Please forgive me, comrades, I've been ill this past week, uh, so this is now really the first recording in uh, about, I would say, five days. So uh, I'm sorry you had to wait a bit longer. The only episodes I had in my uh, reserve were the KSP ones, so that's why there were quite a few of them in the last few days. Anyway, also forgive if my voice doesn't quite sound all there yet, but you know, we cannot be stopped here. So we are busy researching the orbital station and the economy modernization too. And actually, Trump has given us some new nuggets in the last week or so that we can use. And one of them is, of course, his whole tariff on imported steel. And uh, I think aluminium or aluminum as it's named in the US. So these are also things that we can try and implement. But in any case, we were still trying to get actions against the Pakistani war criminals. Now, we can see here the only support we really managed to get was that from Canada and India, but we should still have another chance to lobby here. At least I'm hoping so. So let's continue. I know this is again very sidetracked. It's not really our intention or our goal to go to war with Pakistan. But I mean, if they kill hundreds of millions of people, we really need to pay attention. So let's lobby. A few successes. But it's... Ah, there we go. Japan has seen the light. I'm happy. Maybe we could even turn this thing, but we still need a few more members there. Well, we'll see, comrades, we'll see. Oh, there's only two days left. Ah, uh, it will not be introduced. Oh, well, see, the rest of the world doesn't have the nerve, comrades. They don't have the nerve. Again, taking advantage of America here. Now, we must clean up their mess. Well, then we will leave them, comrades. We will focus only on our goals. So there is now a new proposition. Nuclear non-proliferation from Brazil. Let's have a look at it. Let's pause for a moment. What, uh, what does it say? An international treaty to prevent the spread of nuclear weapon. Well, weapons. So this is up in the air at the moment. I'm wondering, are we going to support this? I think we should, because the last thing we want is more unfriendly countries with nuclear weapons. So we'll approve it, and actually we are making the decisive vo vote here. So, that should put a hamper on anyone else. North Korea, of course, already has nuclear weapons, I would expect. We can just have a look at that again. I'm sure they do, actually, yes. So, this list hopefully won't grow anymore. Unfortunately, Pakistan is still there, but maybe they'll fall off somehow. Actually, we need to get the CIA. Get the CIA and sabotage their nuclear stockpiles. Ah, uh, we still have to wait another thousand days. Goodness sake. Well, let's try and get their army morale down so that India wins there. Maybe. Because it looks like Pakistan is actually winning, even though they're fighting against rebels as well. But this will finish them. Absolutely. So, continue with that. Unfortunately, another loan. Ah, uh, you know, these things. That's the way it goes, I guess. You see, our taxes are okay. They're not contributing really to our GDP uh, grow, growth rate there or to its uh, decline. So I think we're in a good position with 20% tax at the moment. So let's see, what are our goals again, comrades? It's always important to just remind ourselves. This is, of course, our... our uh, it's a secondary set of goals, really, because the main one is keep... Palestine and Israel independent and destroy Mashriq. So we just have to take care of that within the next decade. So other than that, of course, the Star Wars theory project, that still has to happen. Uh, that's a very expensive one, though. Our country could use some general improvement. That's the protectionist agricultural market. But I'm wondering if we should do that. Trump seems to be more about the protectionist uh, industrial sector. But uh, we can have a look at that. Also, completely repay your debts. We can just forget that, comrade. Let's, uh, let's resign that. 
It's no point. It's a fantasy. It's not happening in 10 years. So, uh, what else could we do? Let's see. We still have to wipe out Mashrik. So let's see if we can bring another resolution here. Or actually, you know what? We have to decide, comrades, this I mentioned before. Are we going to take Mashrik for ourselves? Or are we going to possibly hand it over to somebody else? Or make it independent again uh, under a different government? Or what are we going to do? Now, unfortunately, we can't see where all the oil is. But that would be in this part here. Let's just see. Trade map. 102. Unfortunately, of course, these provinces are not very... Uh, wealthy so it's not really uh, going to contribute much but then again maybe we can take something here you know something for ourselves but uh, the issue here is also how are we going to get to the Mashriki territories because they don't actually border the ocean of course uh, the Syrian province of Latakia is blocking us there of course maybe if we can get a deal with Israel. Let's see. Is there even a deal that will allow us to pass through their territories or is, if, is that not even a necessary thing? Actually, let's make an invasion. Oh, good grief, never mind. Let's first get the approval. But, you know, the US doesn't always ask the UN's approval. Just look at the invasion of Iraq. But, uh, let's try it anyway, I guess. Propositions available in almost 200 days, so we can't even do that. But I think then, let's modernize the military comrades. Really, that's the thing to do. So, we need more infantry, come on. Let's get five more squads there, or divisions. And let's get... Transports, I think, are okay. Let's get some more armor. Again, another five divisions. Smarten up, there we go. Stable genius, reach a an HDI of at least 73. Again, Obama should have done that already, comrades, for goodness sake. So, let's have a look. As soon as our research is done, we will pay attention to that. But let's see if the CIA can actually do something here. Ah, excellent! Finally, they see the light. So this hopefully will turn things around in uh, the wars of Pakistan. There is a nationalist movement in Spain. Not really a priority for us. Can we do anything more? Let's... Should we even bother supporting the rioters? As we saw with the Turkish campaign, that's not really always the best thing because they are quite poor fighters, to be honest. No, I think we'll leave it at that. Let's see if that hurts their fighting ability. Uh, so, clear that and we will focus on the stock exchange, I think. We just need to make sure everything is still in order here. And it is. Good. Also, we still have to try and get Palestine into our block. I'm not sure if that will ever happen, really. But we can try. Just, of course, have to make sure they stay independent. But I don't think that will be a challenge. It's really just wiping out Mashrik. And then maintaining the status quo between Israel and Palestine. And then we win the scenario. International invitation. We could invite more international companies to our country by offering them tax relief. Yes, yes, you see, comrades, this is so much in line with my stable genius. This should make more jobs for our people. Absolutely. Of course, there's no doubt. Let's also have a look. Of course, we can't really do much now with the uh, ad hoc or unique projects. There's a few that we really also have to do here. Of course, we have to do Guns R Us. Uh, there was a comment about that. It's now been a while again, but uh, this is a very valid point. We need to get Guns R Us, the number one arms producers in the world. Of course we will do that, comrades. Arms production re uh, economy, do we have that? We should, come on. Which specific one? It's this one. Okay, now we first have to research that. I suppose this is for export and all of that. And then we will look again, but we first have to finish these various other projects. Ah, there we go. 
In accordance with the newly introduced treaty on the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons, warhead maintenance will be higher by 20% for the next thousand days. Well, that's not quite what I had in mind, but you know, this should hopefully discourage some of the smaller countries to uh, pursue nuclear weapons research. Of course, we can afford that. So, Palestine likes us more. Let's see if they like us enough to possibly join us. No, not quite. We'll have to help them and again this will take our HDI down. No, we won't bother comrades. Israel is our friend. So we'll just have to keep an eye on Palestine and make sure that they uh, stay independent. What's this in Tunisia? We're proposing mutual cooperation between our intelligence services. We could definitely learn a lot from each other. Well, you know, you could learn a lot from us, but I'm not so, so sure we could learn from you, but uh, we'll do it anyway. It gives us a chance of getting a core on a neighboring province, but I don't think we will. More loans, of course, because of that now. You see, comrades, they drive us into debt, but they can't touch us. No way. Smarten up. Well, it happened anyway, comrades. There we go again. My, my strategy is so superior, I don't even know I'm doing it. I'm sure it was because of that cooperation there with the uh, spy service. I'm not sure. But in any case, we've done it. So let's see what our new task is. It's all about the numbers. We must bring our GDP up to 16,581. We are now 14,899, so we still have a way to go there, but no problem. Look how the economy is growing, comrades. So you see, pro-business leadership. There we go. So what other mischief can we get up to here? Hmm. We have to see. We need more block members, I think. Having just Israel, well, Canada is the other one. I sort of forgot about them, of course, but... <laughs> No, I think uh, they are really in need of investments. Yes, let's invest there. There's separatism again in Puerto Rico, but we will just pay to calm them down. I tried using again the latest version of the game with this particular save, but it again does not work. So uh, it just has an infinite loading screen. So we will just finish this scenario on uh, this version that I've got running here which I think is the, if you look under the betas on Steam for real politics, it's the uh, separatism test. That's the latest one that I'm using that actually is compatible with our saves. Bhutan left the block of Japan, more armor, that's what I'm looking for. Solomon Islands joined the block of Japan and all those sorts of things. Let's see, will Canada give us a return? No, you see, you see, comrades, this is now our so-called friends again. What's happening in Djibouti? Our oppressors are leading this country to ruin. Please help. No, we don't even know where Djibouti is. We're not concerned about that. Djibouti is behind Mars when it, when it comes to Trump, I'm sure. Uh, let's see, anything else in the Americas? No, nothing. Okay. Let's just get this research done then. Can we propose? Yes, we can. Okay, so let's propose an attack on Mashriq. Attack approval. And propose against one country. We can, of course, afford that. And Mashriq. Confirm. Now, again, we don't really have the support that we need. But uh, let's hope money talks, comrades. So success with the UK, it's up 15% with France, with Russia, with Italy. Strangely that Russia will actually support this, but I guess Putin is no longer in power. Who knows, he should still be, but uh, it's only the same three again. Well, comrades, we are going to invade them if we are able, of course, whether the UN likes it or not. Mashriq must fall. End of story. Let's sabotage them. Let's do something here. Let's spread some dissent. Yes, send the CIA to do their good work. 
New proposition. R&D cooperation. Let's see if we can vote on that. This is now from Germany. There will be a new institute to improve the Human Development Index. Of course I'll approve that and hopefully we will host it because we are the greatest country on earth and we should host it. Riot in Russia. Oh yes, oh yes, this episode just became a lot more exciting comrades. We are going to support this. So again of course money, but what is money? You know it's a small loan of a million dollars and all that. Get involved. It's a pity I can't just attack whoever I like. Democracy can be such a limiting thing. I'm, I'm wondering really if Trump feels the same way. Sometimes I feel that he does because look at the guns thing again. Where he said we'll take the guns first and then go to the courts and the due process. So, you know, following the procedures and the rules and the laws and all that is not always... Uh, the most convenient thing. So, yes. I'm wondering, can we not change this democracy thing here? But we really shouldn't. <laughs> so Trump is in power for one more year, comrades. Then I'm going to have to change character. I have no idea who's going to take over from him. But let's hope it's somebody who knows what they're doing and has a clear vision and all of that. What? You see, the CIA is, is betraying us, comrades. This is part of their plots against Trump again. So they have now failed here. And, you know, it's again this whole Russia collusion thing. Just look here. It was a disaster. Our spies were caught. How can our spies be caught by Russians? It's impossible. Now, you see, the CIA is doing collusion with the Russians. Yes. Now we have warmonger level. Ah, what does it matter? Our agents uh, managed at least to spread some dissent in Mashrik. But let's see if they can actually uh, harm the army morale in Russia. Let's give them a chance to redeem themselves. Malaysia joined the bloc. Uh, it's irrelevant for uh, Trump, I guess. Uh, North Korea joined the bloc of China. Now, do they have both? You see, you see what the Chinese are doing here. They've actually now got both North and South Korea in their bloc. So they are busy building some sort of a new partnership on the Korean Peninsula. And it's not under American leadership. This is nonsense. China is the biggest threat we've ever faced. We have to do something about them. Let's sabotage their nuclear weapons or let's not because it costs a bit too much. You know, that's one thing about Trump. He changes his mind all the time. So we can do it also. Let's give them army morale loss. Let's pay for that. What's debt anyway? It's very interesting to think about debt if you're only in power for a short time because then you hand that problem over to the next person. But now in all the campaigns that we've been playing, like Turkey and South Africa, there we could see the longer view. And of course, debt there is not a good thing. Anyway, it looks like our meddling in Pakistan has actually worked because India is now winning. Do we need to do it again? No, we don't. We'll just leave them. Not going to support those rioters. It's not necessary. Iceland and all that. So, comrades, Freedom Station is in orbit. Finally, it's cost us billions of dollars. But there we, we are abandoning the International Space Station. And it is more or less the time that the US is anyway thinking of ending its involvement there. I wonder, I think that is pretty much the, the lifetime of the ISS, around 2024, 25. And there's been some talk by Trump that he might want to bring private actors in to manage it. But in any case, we are now giving it over to SpaceX and all the other players, Blue Origin and who knows who else. But we are having our own orbital station. I don't want Russians on my station or Chinese. There we go. Or Mexicans, God forbid. 
They have turned against us again. The attack approval was not granted. I admit I should have been lobbying more there. So what can I do? Is it even possible to override the UN? No, it's not. Unless we somehow get a core province, but I don't think that is a possibility. No, it's not. Uh, Basra. Let's talk, Basra. Let's talk. Is there a possibility of somehow getting them? Because then we have a small coastline there and then of course we border Mashrik and we can just take the whole thing. But uh, getting an attack approval against them is going to be even more difficult. But you see, the, the, the countries of the world lack resolve, comrades, because if they can't turn against Mashrik, which is now the ISIS-backed government of that whole region, then how, how can they expect America to fulfill that role? You see, they want us to pay the cost and to sacrifice our soldiers, but they just want the benefits. They won't even support it, for goodness sake. Well, let's get the arms production economy if uh, we could afford it. We can't really right now, so we will push that further down the road. What else could we get? What else do we need? The Star Wars thing, but... I'm wondering, space missile defense systems designed to counteract enemy nuclear strikes. That sounds very fantastic, actually. What about the transport web? These are all very, very expensive. We just also have to have a look at the fight unemployment. What is the status now of the unemployment rate? Zero. So I... Donald Trump have managed to wipe out unemployment in my presidency. Now, if that is not putting me head and shoulders above Obama, then I don't know what is. So let's stop this now and see if it stays at zero. That's another issue, of course, but this will save us some money. I don't want full-scale immigration. Forget about it. Let's see under the economic areas if we can't pick something else. So we're busy still with the modernization. There's, of course, the protectionist thing. I'm not sure. We probably could, because we've already got the pro-agricultural market policies active, and that does have interventionism. So the protectionist agricultural market doesn't bring more interventionism. Only if we go towards collective state farms, which, of course, we're not going to do. We're not going to go for socialism here. But protecting our domestic producers is exactly what Trump is about. So do it. Do it. Now we just have to figure out how to get uh, attack approval. So let's see, there's another thing we can do now. So they did say we need to smarten up and we actually succeeded with that. Let's see, military, we've had a look at internal politics. We could do, do some more educational related uh, research, but who, are, who am I kidding? That's not going to be on the agenda. Point system, yes, the point system needs to stay because that's exactly what Trump is pushing for, a uh, merit-based immigration system. Universal health service, forget about it. Obamacare is dead. Social care, basic social security, advanced social benefits. Now, we're rolling all this nonsense back, comrades. We are cancelling universal social care. Costs us too much. Why are we going to pay that amount? We are also going to cancel advanced social benefits. It's, again, those people who want to get uh, social grants, again, for doing nothing. And uh, then we'll just have the basic social security. Now, this is going to hurt the country, I have no doubt, but Trump's presidency is almost over, never fear. Let's see, export infrastructure. Yes, we want to export American materials for the rest of the world and get paid for it. That's what we're going to do. Now, comrades, I need some advice about getting the attack approval here. 
because I mostly play as a an authoritarian country, so this is never an issue for me. Social promises. There is no easier way to gain votes than to promise something, some uh, someone something they want. Our people often complain about weak social assistance from the government. You see now, now the Democrats are coming out again and trying to take advantage. We ignore their demands. I'm not going to give freebies for everybody. South Korea has seen the light and left the block of China. Let's see if we can now bring them into ours. No, not interested. Zero percent chance. Japan is probably also zero. No, well, they've got their own block. What about Taiwan? Okay, Taiwan is in their block, so that's all pointless. Let's see, uh, what could we do? What could we do about this thing, comrades? The years are passing by and I want Trump to be the one to start this war. We just can't do it. No core provinces, no UN resolution. So I suppose it really has to come down to either changing the whole government system of the US, which is not what I want to do because this will be a many years challenge, or just cozying up to a few of the uh, voting members of the uh, UN. I think it's going to have to be that. So we are going to focus on building closer relationships with Germany, the UK, should we should we go for Russia? Oh dear, they've just caught us anyway. I'm not sure if they will be happy about that. But let's try. Let's get closer relationships with a lot of countries. Of course, just because we want something. Ah, debt. Who knew? Okay, this should help. And who else is in the Voting blocks here, Brazil, India. India should really give us a, a hand here because we've tried to help them so many times. Let's even ask the Chinese if they'll support us. I don't know why we have to pay them. What's this? We've got some resources for sale, cash only. No, thank you. Competing by selling their rubbish to us trying to flood us out of the market our agents report the army morale loss was a complete success against the russia the very country we just tried to uh, get closer relationships with oh well like i said i can change my opinion rapidly here spies were caught by mexico no we've managed to catch them you see, comrades, again, I keep saying it, bad hombres, bad hombres. China People's Republic has no idea what hit them, so their army has lost some morale as well. Failure with Russia, success with Germany, failure with France, success with the UK and India, thank goodness, and China, while we sabotage them, why not? Now, let's see if we can push this attack thing again if it even makes any difference. Uh, we still have to wait. The uh, cadence here, as they call it, is coming to an end. So we might also have some new UN Security Council members. Okay, interventionism is coming down, that's great. Personal control is zero, so it's a free country, as it should be, and militarism is also coming down, which is not the best thing. Not the best thing, but we haven't really had a lot of events that help to push that up. Baltic states are working together, that's fine, against Russia, of course. War between Venezuela and Guyana. Now, see, I would have just loved to get involved here. I'm sure Venezuela is still socialist here. Probably uh, in a bad state, but... In any case, we can't really do much there. Now there's a Baltic Union, so they've certainly moved fast. Separatism again. They still want us to pay for 
rebuilding after the hurricane that was now seven years ago. Member generates no income. So let's take care of this. Uh, no, cancel that. Dump the Australians. They have been ungrateful. And then we'll have to invite somebody new. And Russians have almost squashed the rebels and India is still fighting against Pakistan and almost winning. Not really, but uh, they're getting in the right direction now. Can just dismiss my alarm here. But you see, there's really slow progress here. Anyway, comrades, it's uh, about half an hour now, so I'm going to stop here. Uh, I think this is enough exercise for my voice for today. So I'm definitely on the main though, so I'll be much better this coming week and we can continue the adventure. The real thing here is now my term of office as Donald Trump will end in January 2025. So that's three months from now. So then all the sports will come to an end. Now, I would like to begin the invasion or the attack on Mashriq before that time runs out. But I need your help, comrades. How are we going to actually get this approval here? I'm sure somebody knows the, uh, the optimum way to do that. I'm sure it is either just pushing again better relations with these various voting members and then lobbying like crazy. Or it's changing the government style. But I think that's probably not the way I want to go. But we will we'll get them. We'll get them. That's really the thing. That's the big challenge for this scenario, I suppose. And of course, making sure Palestine and Israel are independent. But so far, there's been no threats to that. And of course, I want the US to get a little colony or something out of the deal there. But uh, we'll see. That's still a bit of time away. So see you in the next episode, comrades. Again, forgive my illness here. It's a conspiracy again. It shows you that the FBI is turning against me and they're planting germs everywhere. But I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, comrades. Have a fantastic day.